Louisiana Beer Reviews recorded at Mathern Supermarket, Laplace, Louisiana. This morning we're looking at Sweetwater's Waterkeeper Hefeweizen Ale. Part of their tackle box 12 pack. To benefit the Waterkeeper Alliance, which is an environmental charity. This is a brewed in Atlanta, Georgia. Best if enjoyed by September 23rd, 2014. So good thing about Sweetwater is they put the best by date. Okay, 6% alcohol. They use 50% two-row barley milk and 50% wheat. They use sterling and Haralatal hops. Also, it's 15 international bitterness units. So it's not going to be bitter at all. It's a good score on Beer Advocate. The bros say good. 78 out of 100 on Rate Beer, 97 out of 100 for the style. So extremely high rating for the style. Hefe, bison. Hefe means with yeast, bison, wheat. So yeasty wheat beer. And you can see now, it's not fall yet, but Got the Oktoberfest, Blue Moon, Pumpkin, and the Brooklyn's Post Road Pumpkin Beers. And we got the Pumpkin. And I believe some other ones too. Okay. Put in this little tasting glass. Now, more than likely, the yeast is going to be caked at the bottom. So. Optimum, optimally, <laughs> you would want to shake the bottle and pour the rest in, but I don't have a big enough glass for that. But that would add flavor, which most people like. Some people are, offend, you know, turned off by those chunks. It is still very hazy, and I would say, okay, now there's a thin, the thinnest little white head. It's hard to say what color this is. It's sort of like a gold. I see so much fine sediment in there. Some sort of shade of gold, yellowish gold. The aroma here at 6.40 a.m. Okay, you can pick up the yeast. A little bit of lemony. There's a lemony aspect. You would almost think they put lemon peel in it. Certain yeast, the coriander, kind of note that you get from a lot of times from yeast. Maybe a, a banana pudding type thing. It's very spicy. It's like a spiced bread. Like a spiced white bread. Like you get the body, the bread is white. Maybe spices on the crust. I don't know. Maybe intermixed with the bread. Coriander. The banana pudding again. The mouth feels medium and medium to heavy, really, but it's a medium. It's kind of a fluffy mouthfeel. The finish is dry. It's easy going. You know, there's no bitterness really. There's just a shade of bitterness at the end to give it some balance so it's not overly sweet or malty um, or bready. And it's pretty refreshing and easy drinking. So if you want an easy drinking beer that satisfies, this is one to have. Um, I don't think wheat beer, personally, I don't think wheat beers pair that well with food because they have such a strong flavor, really, kind of in, in, in it unusual flavor that it interferes with the flavor of the food. But as a standalone beer, I do think wheat beers certainly have their place. And this is one of the better ones I've had. But you gotta really like that spicy aspect, the white pepper and uh, the coriander and all that. If you don't care for that, you may not like it. But I'm gonna give it a solid, uh, I'm gonna go with an A minus at the worst. I think the worst you could say is excellent. <laughs> And that is not a complaint. Um, I noticed Mathurin still has, but it's, it's selling fast, like they've already sold probably three quarters of it. But we still have the Irish beers from Guinness. For 
$4.99 for the eight pack. Not out of date, like some people have alleged. It's fresh beer. Just a special, a fantastic special. So, Les Le Bon Ton Roulet, an excellent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Matherns and check out their growing, a lot of new stuff coming in this week, beer selection.